Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Zizahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to add edit form dialog and we are going to read our data from table by ID. So let's open our previous project. So this is our previous project and right now we need to go to category screen and as we can see in the previous we haven't yet implement any method in our on press method inside our edit button so let's try to run our app and let's go to category screen and when we press this edit button nothing appear all right so let's now we want to add something or we want to show something when we press this button it means that we want to show edit form dialog. So to do that, firstly in the previous, we know that we have created show form dialog. So we just need to duplicate that and paste below that. And the next step is we need to change this to edit form dialog and we need to change this edit categories form and for the button we need to change to maybe update all right and for the controller we go to text field inside our edit form dialog we should change this to edit category name controller and the second one is edit description edit category description controller and after that we need to create two variable which mean edit category name controller and we assign with text editing controller and the second one is edit category description controller and we assign to text editing controller too and when we press this it will go to our controller inside our text field in our edit form dialog all right and the next step is we need to create a new method and we place right here and let's say edit category and inside that we give a parameter field context and name it as context and we say category id all right and inside our edit category method we should call category which mean this category is a global variable right here and we assign this with await and we call category service again and we say read category by id and we give parameter inside that category id we see error or we see warning below our await because we haven't yet implement asynchronous in our method. After that, we should call set state. And after that, we see warning below our read category by ID. And when we navigate to this, we see the method is undefined for the class category service. It means that we haven't yet created this method. So, just press this create method and it will go to category service and we give command right here. Alright, so the next step is we make this method to be asynchronous and inside our method, we need to say, let's say return and await and we call repository and read data and we say read data by ID and then we see warning again and it's like the before the method is undefined so just navigate to this and create method and it will automatically go to our repository file and we give comment again and we make this method to be asynchronous and inside this method we want to let's say 
we want to give two parameter i think a table and item id so inside this method we say like the before we call our database and return and we want to execute or we call query and we call table and then where and we say id comma and where arch and we say item id all right and the next step is we back to category service and inside this method we say categories and we say category id all right and we back to category screen and now the warning has gone and inside our set state let's say we call our controller edit name and the text and we assign with category and name and no name and again to our description all right and here we call our edit form dialog and after that we need to go to icon button and we see on the leading and we call our edit category method inside our on press edit category and we change this category id and we say category list index dot id and let's restart our app and go back to category screen and let's press this and now we see i did form categories all right so i think that's enough of video today see you on the next video